Stylus Studio can be used to query and join data from sources like relational databases and web services. To show you how easy it is to integrate data from different sources, we'll use Stylus Studio's XQuery Mapper to build an XML report that uses data from a SQL Server database and a StockQuotes web service. The XML schema, positions.xsd, describes the information our report has to include, such as personal information about individual stockholders and news items about the companies in which they hold stock. Since our query has to generate XML that conforms to this XML schema, let's add it as our target document in XQuery Mapper. As mentioned earlier, the data from our report comes from two sources, a relational database and a web service. Let's start with the relational database. Stylus Studio's File Explorer lets you connect to many relational databases, like DB2, Oracle, and Microsoft SQL Server. The information for our report is stored on a SQL Server database. Once we connect to SQL Server, we choose the database we want to use for our XQuery source, and drag and drop it on the Add Source Document tab in XQuery Mapper. The XQuery Mapper's drag and drop feature makes it easy to quickly create complex code, like this flower expression that creates a for loop for all the records in the company's data table. The underlying XQuery code takes advantage of the DataDirect XQuery collection function to provide the query of our relational data source. Our XML report needs to include holdings information for investors recorded in the stocks database. So we map the holdings repeating element in our relational source to the holdings repeating element in the XML schema that represents the report. To get the investor's first and last names, we'll need to loop over the users table as well. Of course, we don't want all of the information from the companies and holdings tables, so let's create a conditional expression that matches the ticker symbols in the companies and holdings tables. And another conditional expression that matches the user ID from the holdings table with the user ID from the users table for each of these holdings records. Once these equal conditions are defined, we map them to an AND condition because both conditions need to be true for the holdings records to be included in our report. You see how easy it was to join relational data from across companies, holdings, and users tables using the XQuery mapper. Finally, we map the output port of the AND condition to the WHERE port on the flower expression associated with the holdings table. This ensures that the condition is used to evaluate every record in the holdings table before it is included in our report. Now that the basic logic for our XQuery code, for each loops on ticker records in the companies table, for each loops for records in the holdings table, with equal and AND conditions, expressions that select only the holdings records associated with users in the users table, we can complete some simple mappings that will provide the company's ticker value, the investor's first and last names, and his or her currently held shares. Let's preview the report to review our work so far. As you can see, our report includes the holdings information we expected the ticker from the company's table, the user ID and shares from the holdings table, and the investor's first and last names from the users table. However, our report is still missing company news items, press releases, articles from periodicals, and so on. As we mentioned earlier, this information will be provided by a web service. Let's see how to use a web service as a data source now. Stylus Studio's Web Service Call Composer lets you create a web service calls for use in your XML applications. One handy feature of the Web Service Call Editor is that it lets you test web services. Previously, we found a StockQuotes web service using an internet search engine. If we enter its URL in the WSDL URL field, the Web Service Call Composer Editor displays the exposed web service operations and the XML that describes the SOAP request that can be processed by the web service. We can test the web service by entering a value, in this case a stock ticker, and clicking Send Request. Since we know the web service is operational and that it provides the information we need for our investor report, let's go ahead and add it as a data source in our XQuery.
The Data Direct X Query Web Service Call function, ddtech colon WS Call, lets you access a web service from your XQuery code. To create this code in Stylus Studio, you simply create a web service call function block. You just enter the URL for the WSDL file that represents the web service, the same web service we tested earlier, and then select the web service operation you want for your application. For our report, we choose Get Company News and then click OK. From testing the web service, we know that this web service operation takes a ticker symbol as its argument, so we expand the input port on the web service call function block and map the ticker symbol from the company's element to the input port on the web service function block. Next, we specify where to map the output of the web service query. To do so, we double click the output port so we can map the title to the news item repeating element. When you drag and drop in the XQuery mapper using mouse button 2, Stylus Studio displays a menu of possible choices for completing the mapping operation. We'll choose Create Repeatable Value Link so that the XQuery code loops over the tickers to provide the news items required by the report. Notice that Stylus Studio automatically created the flower expression that represents the looping code. When we preview our XQuery code now, we see that the XML output includes news items related to the companies in which our investors have stock holdings. Stylus Studio's XQuery Mapper and DataDirect XQuery make it easy to use data from disparate sources like relational databases and web services.